Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And also check out our Patreon page. I'll put a link below. On Patreon, you're gonna get the ability to get exclusive content, reviews that haven't been released yet, and also a discount code for 15% off of everything in our online web store. Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the InGroove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm gonna to do a new arrival video for July 17th, 2020. That has been a wild week here at the InGroove. Uh, a lot of stuff coming and going, all kinds of little uh, issues going on with the store, records coming smashed to bits. I mean, from distributors, it's been uh, not a fun week. But I do want to talk to you about, right now on the website, we have an MFSL Bob Dylan Oh Mercy for pre-order. By the time this video goes live, that'll probably be in stock and shipping. So you can kind of check that out. Do to get it in this week. Uh, that's it for pre-orders this week. Not much in the way of uh, pre-order announcements. Don't forget, all this stuff can be purchased online at our website at www.theingroove.com. So, a title that I've been looking forward to for a long time. Art Blakey, just cooling. Had it pre-ordered for a long time. It's on the website. Cracked it open, listened to it first thing when it came in. This record is absolutely fantastic. Bobby Timmons, who wrote Monin. Hank Mobley, Lee Morgan on trumpet. Fantastic record. I read on here that it looks like they shelved this for Jazz Corner of the World. But... Yeah, I'd have to read the uh, liner notes here later on today. But this is an amazing record. All analog, cut by Kevin Gray, $21.99. You know, it's got the generic jacket, but it's kind of in that classic Blue Note style. But an amazing sounding, great, great record. Really happy with that. All right, also new this week, Joy Division's Closer. This is a 40th anniversary limited edition on clear vinyl. They also released a lot of their singles, some 12 inch singles, four different 12 inch singles. Love Will Tear Us Apart. Atmosphere. They also did I think Transmission and maybe one others, but unfortunately most of them were destroyed in my uh, UPS shipment this week. So I don't have those to show you. I'll probably have some more next week and I'll include them on that video. Oh, my buddy Johnny D specifically requested this one. NSYNC picture disc, 20th anniversary. Features all 12 original hits. Bye, bye, bye. It's going to be me. This, I promise you. Fiona Apple. Now, this is the limited indie exclusive version. This is another record that I'm very, very light on this week because my order was smashed to bits. But yeah, this is on opaque pearl vinyl. I do have, got, do have some of them, but not nearly as many as I was going to have. This is a new release from Analog Productions, Joan Baez, Diamond and Rust. This is a 45 RPM double disc. One more new arrival from Analog Productions. Again, both of these are, like the name says, all analog. Although not everything they do is analog. But this is the, they did a 33 RPM version of this. This is the 45 RPM version of Steppenwolf's greatest hits. Are their great hits as it says on the cover. So this is a record that, you know, I don't, if, it's, if it doesn't come out on vinyl, I don't listen to the radio, I don't download stuff, I don't listen to any kind of CDs. So this was actually the very first time I got to hear this. This came out a few different ways this week. Uh, the hard one to get is going to be the gold vinyl version. The gold vinyl version is an indie store exclusive, and I'm guessing they're pretty much sold out everywhere. I've got a couple of them. There was also an import version of it. Uh, the imports, unfortunately, were smashed to bits in my UPS order. But I did get some extra on gold vinyl. I listened to this album, and I got to tell you, I was not in love with it. Everyone talks about it, and I'm a huge Dylan fan. 
But everybody talks about how this is, you know, this to me was a sad and depressing and very plain, plain album. I just, you know, I know I'm probably in the minority here, but I really was not a fan of this record. It, uh, you know, it was quiet. It's really, really well recorded. On gold vinyl, you typically sometimes expect a lot more surface noise. I mean, it was a quiet record, and I mean, it was a nice presentation. Comes with a digital download of the record, but it's one of those records to me, you know, sometimes you get records because they're by somebody you love, you know, like, like Bob Dylan, you get it. I can't see myself playing this more than once. I get, let's put it that way. Where Neil Young's Homegrown, I listened to it again today. That to me was a really great record, and that's something that, you know, you, for me, I can listen to it multiple times. But yeah, got a few of them. The Lawrence Arms, Skeleton Coast. Charlie Parker at Cafe Society. This is on red vinyl. Charlie Parker, Kenny Dorham, Tommy Porter. Recorded live, 1950. Hmm, I've never heard this. Interesting. Brian Wilson in Van Dyke Parks. This is on, let's see, 25th anniversary edition, finally on vinyl. This is a 2LP set with some bonus tracks. Animal Collective. Bill Frizzell, Music on Vinyl. The Return of Hell Yeah. This is the Charlatans. Between 10th and 11th. Live in Chicago, 1991. All right. Merciful Fate, the beginning. This is on amber marble vinyl. Dolly Parton, for the first time on LP. Her greatest hits. Man, Dolly Parton sells extremely well. I'm guessing this will sell extremely well too. The Adams Family soundtrack. Wife comes out and she's like, you got more than two of these, right? Because she wants one for herself. So, everybody's taking home records this week. So it's funny, uh, my first wife, none of my family was a fan of. And uh, they used to all call her Wednesday. Because she kind of had the personality of Wednesday Adams. Little, little trivia there. <laughs> the Chicks. Oh, the CNL. It says Dixie Chicks on the album. But I had to build the skew as Chicks because it's no longer, they're no longer referred to as the Dixie Chicks. So who knows? Maybe they redo this album in future versions and they whack off the Dixie. This might be a future collectible in the making. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on it. I'm not going to keep one. I personally don't listen to the Dixie Chicks. But no judgment if you do. I just, I don't listen to a lot of country. This is really weird. So I've only ordered this album one time and it's actually come in four times. I think I ordered, you know, whatever, 15 or 20 of them when it was first announced. This is the Friends soundtrack. This is on hot pink vinyl. They only did 3,000 copies, but for whatever reason, my distributor gives me like two or three copies and then a couple, three, four weeks go by and they give me two or three more copies. I'm not really sure that's why that is, why that is, but I've got a few more copies. Bill Withers making music. This is a music on vinyl pressing. I wanted to say this was some sort of colored vinyl. You know, it's got a, it doesn't mention it on the hype. I'm not sure, but the barcode is an overlay and that typically is indicative of them doing like a variation of it. Oh man, I also want to talk about uh, David Bowie's Tin Machine. Music on Vinyl did a, I guess it's not David Bowie's Tin Machine, but David Bowie is in Tin Machine. The album, self-titled album Tin Machine, 
Music on Vinyl is doing, I don't have it to show you, I should have it this week. Music on Vinyl is doing a limited silver version of that record, and I should have that on the website probably Thursday or Friday. That is a really hotly anticipated title from Music on Vinyl. Felt 3. This is repressed and repackaged with one of three limited bonus die cut picture disc with exclusive remixes. This has actually got the Record Store Day logo. So this is probably a title that was on the original Record Store Day list that was cut. And they just made it a standard reissue. But yeah. Disturbed. Sickness. What do we got? You miss one? Bring it. No, no, come here, bring it. Bring it. Bring me the record. Bring me the record. My wife, Miss Ellie Goulding. Brightest Blue, brand new studio album. Made in Germany, on the back. Hmm. Little camera shy today. Of course, I don't think she ever wants to be on the camera. She tries to avoid it as much as possible. She gets all her work done out in the background before I shoot this video. Strike Anywhere, limited edition colored vinyl. This is clear with black. That's what the barcode says on the back. Fall Out Boy, greatest hits. Believers Never Die. Sells well. All right, another Bill Withers. Naked and Warm. The legendary 1976 album. Although I think this is a good album, I don't know if in his catalog you would consider this legendary. But done by Music on Vinyl. Some more Hell Yeah. This is more Hell Yeah. This is limited edition white vinyl. All right. Marvin Gaye. This is one of the earliest CDs. I think this is probably the first Marvin Gaye CD I ever had, but redoing this on vinyl. This is essentially Marvin Gaye, greatest hits. No special vinyl or anything, but yeah. Marvin Gaye, still a great seller. New Sparks, limited edition 2LP on colored vinyl with a bonus poster. I guess everybody's getting old. They don't quite look like they're uh, like they do on their younger albums, do they? All right. New Pretenders, Hate for Sale. Heavyweight Vinyl. Might be good, haven't heard it. New Margot Price. This is kind of funny. This is kind of like a, uh, I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is a special first pressing edition with a bonus seven inch with exclusive audio. So this is good. It's kind of like a uh, Pokemon card or a gaming card or a comic book. They're gonna start notating maybe uh, if you have first pressings on your records. That'll take a lot of, a lot of the hard work out of, you know, sussing out the information in the dead wax. Erica Badu, I think this is, this might just be new for us. I don't necessarily, I don't think that's a new release. It just might've got mixed up in the pile. Strike Anywhere, Exit English. This is another, I think this is, I think I just ordered a bunch of Erica Badu. This is a Miles Davis with 
Mr. Glassberg comp. Just something new we were adding to the store. Those two got kind of mixed up. All right, so that's it for the new arrivals this week. Definitely check out the, if you're a jazz fan or, you know, you think you might want to dip into something. This is a great record you could start with. Art Blakey, just cooling, 100% analog, cut by Kevin Gray. Really, really good. And again, that David Bowie tin machine will be out later on this week on the website. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, folks. And until next time.